Welcome back to A to Z here on Locked On Sports Atlanta, free on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts. Make sure you search Locked On Sports Atlanta. Give us a follow on Twitter at Locked On ATL. I'm at Mark Zino, M A R K Z I N N O. Before we give a shovel of wisdom to the Atlanta Braves for how bad they played, uh, let's do our regular shovels of wisdom. Brace yourselves because it's time for the shovel of wisdom. Yeah, that's right. You know how we do it. Time to whack somebody upside the head with a shovel. If you'd like to do so, you can tweet me at Mark Zeno. Use the hashtag shovel of wisdom. And today my shovel goes to Paul Pelosi. Yeah. Uh, you guys know Paul Pelosi? You know, if you didn't before this week, I didn't know Paul. I do now. Uh, Paul Pelosi happens to be the husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. And well, uh, Paul got in a little bit of trouble over the weekend, over Memorial Day weekend. He was uh, uh, arrested alleged drunk driving after two vehicle two vehicle collision. The 82-year-old was driving a 2021 Porsche that was hit by a 2014 Jeep as Pelosi's car, tried to cross a state road in Napa County. Uh, yeah. You know, here's the thing. Um, when you are like the husband of an elected official, you have to kind of act like a, an elected official if you're not one. Um, according to statements, he was attending a dinner party, left the party about 10.15 to drive home, which he described this quote a short distance away. It's always a short distance away. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on in politics right now. And if you're a House Speaker, Nancy Pelosi, the last thing you want is your drunk husband crashing into walls and other cars and things of that nature. And, uh, well, hey, have at it. All right. There you go. Okay, let's get to the Atlanta Braves because they also uh, could use a, a shovel of wisdom to maybe whack, wake them up. Yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> uh, bad game yesterday uh, defensively. And, you know, Spencer Strider looked great, uh, all things considered. Uh, if you're into the gambling world, as soon as they part, start putting K-props up for Spencer Strider, hit the over until the market corrects. Trust me, I'm already eyeing his next start. Uh, and, and hitting the over on the gate prop. So there's that. But, you know, again, it's, it's, it's the brand of baseball that they're playing to me that is really, really troublesome. Like that's what is, is frustrating. This isn't about them not being able to get over 500. This isn't about them not being able to, uh, you know, look like the best team in baseball. They just don't seem to be playing a good brand of baseball right now. Like the games that they lose, it's like they lose convincingly, right? Like it's, it's the game against the Marlins, that Saturday game that they lost 4-1. Uh, or was it Sunday? I forget which one it was. But anyway, Sandy Alcantara looked phenomenal, right? Like he just dominated the entire team. It wasn't close. You know, I know it was a close game for a better part of it, but it's just the lineup looks so ineffective. You, you look at last night against the Diamondbacks. You have um, some some bad fielding and, and – you know, just mistakes that don't need to happen. And you lose to a team like the Diamondbacks that's that's struggling as well. You know, they, they've fallen below 500. And so this is the stretch right now that they're supposed to start to get right. I, I've talked to you guys about this. Here we are, right? We're a day from June. According to me, almighty me, they have two weeks to get right. They have two weeks to fix all this and get above 500. You're playing Colorado next below 500, Oakland, who's terrible, Pittsburgh, who's terrible, Washington, who's terrible. And by the end of that series, it's June 15th. And then you even get three more against the Cubs, who are also struggling. Uh, this is the stretch where it has to happen. It absolutely is the stretch where it has to happen. If it doesn't, you, you better be prepared for uh, us to be talking about how to get this team back to the postseason. Because it's it's not going to be pretty. Like it's not a situation where this starts to get good for the Braves, and that's that's problematic, man. I mean, I don't know. You, you call up Michael Harris from Double A, and it's very contrary to what this organization does. They slow roll the heck out of everybody, bringing them to the majors. And they wait, 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 and they bring them up. Why? Because you needed to shake up the lineup. You needed to shake up things from top to bottom. And start letting guys know, hey, if you can't perform, you're not going to play. Um, and this is not what a championship caliber club looks like. If you're crying out loud, during this next two weeks, at some point, win three in a row. 
Like, let's just start there. Win three in a row. I mean, that's all you're really asking for. That's how you really started a winning streak. Win three in a row. So I am, you know, very much a guy who looks at this and goes, uh, the, the writing is starting to get on the wall here. You know, we're, we're post Memorial Day, and I get why people are upset at this point, but we need to see something different from this team. And if they can't get right, well, uh, I am curious to see how the organization does things. A lot of high-level teams would make wholesale changes, would start to really address some of the major holes. Um, and I feel like they did that this offseason. And, uh, well, guess what? You know, it, 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 didn't, it didn't work. And that's where we're going to be on June 15th if we haven't figured this thing out. That's where we're going to be in a situation where uh, we have to start looking at ways to fix this team sooner rather than later. And that's an uncomfortable spot. For defending World Series champion. Coming up next, Aaron Freeman, locked on Falcons. We'll get back into the Falcons and where we're going from here. Who's the leader on this team coming up in 2022? That's next right here on A to Z on Locked On Sports Atlanta, free on YouTube and wherever you get your podcast, search Locked On Sports Atlanta. 